how to respond if her man answered the phone. When he answers, you cannot wait a second or hesitate. You got to be quick and ready at all times. Hello? Who is this? Hey, what's up, man? No, look, it's Manny. Sorry to bother you. I know it's late. Is Keisha available? I just need to see if she can work for me tomorrow night. Um, my dog got hit by a car, and I need somebody to fill in. Can I speak to her real quick? Now, nine times out of ten, he gonna pass her the phone, and that's when you cuss her the fuck out for letting that nigga Anybody else got bad credit? <laughs> my credit's so fucked up. That if they was to lend me something, shit, nigga, that's on you. What I love most about being a side dude is getting to wear shit like this. I can walk out of nigga house in this outfit and you would not question if I was fucking this girl. I'd be the only nigga in the whole complex, the whole parking lot, whole hallway. He go in the house and smell like sex. Come back, look. Uh, assume she ain't playing with herself. It's cool because when you're in a relationship, it's like you gotta compete with all the rest of them niggas. When you a side dude, or you wear whatever the fuck you want. In fact, the goal is to be inconspicuous, unnoticed, unseen, Casper. It's comfortable too, but you know side dudes got big, right? You got big up. Keep up with the latest trends. Uh huh. Nah, this is this is not this is not some onesie. This is a this is a fully equipped side dude getaway outfit. <laughs> Look down, and it even zippers up like this for easy access. I can't make this shit up. Side dude 2021. Right, there you go. In and out. Telling people about their friends can be very, very difficult. I'm going to tell you why. Because they already have this perception of who this person is, and their belief system is already in place. Huh? Think about every movie when the mom and dad is like, yo, I don't think he's a good guy for you. I don't think you should be around this guy. And us watching the movie, we see that the guy is no good, but the friend is like so committed to this other friend that it's rather difficult for us to say, hey, man, this dude is no good for you. What? One, nobody fucking asked you. Like we're just enjoying our friendship. Just because you're on the outside and see our dynamics does not mean that our friendship is toxic. Or does it? Yeah. I'll let you figure that one out. Living room comedy like never before. I got my son in private school so I can meet him a new stepmom. <laughs> Brings a whole new type of lives. Yeah, fake lives. The only issue was I was still married. <laughs> From the writers, if I think I'm funny and I think I'm funny too. This one time I was high shit at the drive through at Taco Bell and I met this girl named Lasagna. That's it, I thought that was funny. <laughs> Yeah, like this Italian ass name, this Mexican ass restaurant. <laughs> I still think I'm funny, but over time sim. In this ghetto ass Temple Hills party. Oh, 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 oh. April 30th oh, oh. at tripbango.com. <laughs> I'm assuming that people think we are dumb as the idea itself. I mean, I think virtual school is pretty beneficial. But virtual work, it makes it very difficult for people like me to call out. For instance, I attempted to call out of work today. It's snowing outside where I am, and I thought that my supervisor would be a little empathetic. Instead, my supervisor asked me, do you want to build a snowman? How to respond if her man answered the phone. When he answers, you cannot wait a second or hesitate. You got to be quick and ready at all times. Hello? Who is this? Hey, what's up, man? No, look, it's Manny. Sorry to bother you. I know it's late. Is Keisha available? I just need to see if she can work for me tomorrow night. Um, my dog got hit by a car, and I need somebody to fill in. Can I speak to her real quick? Now, nine times out of ten, he going to pass her the phone, and that's when you cuss her the fuck out for letting that nigga Listen, the streets are calling my name. I'm going to the streets. Get some more. I'm going to the streets. The streets are calling my name. I'm going to the streets. The streets are calling my name. I'm going to the streets. Now tell me if it's just me, but is anyone else before they travel? Leave some snacks out for the mice. <laughs> I'm sorry. I feel like the mice might want something to eat. And if we're gone, how are we going to make sure they eat? I mean, it's pretty annoying when they're eating the stuff when I'm home, but 
like Captain kind of Sorry for him. They're gonna be hungry, and I'm not gonna make any mistake or leave anything. We've already figured out that I'm the fucking variable. <laughs> so, all right, see you later. Success. Come look at my new fishes. Oh, cute. I call this one Nemo and the big one Baby Shark. Do, 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 do. Uh -huh. But aren't you like not supposed to put them in the same tank? They'll start fighting. Oh, on the surface they may seem to have their differences. One may be a clownfish and the other might be a shark. <coughs> then again, I think you're right. How to respond if a man or husband answer the phone, part two. Now remember, you cannot hesitate or wait. You gotta be quick. You need to respond as fast as you can. Hello? Thank you for calling WKYZ. We just want to let you guys know that she won a prize. If she has to come down to the radio station right now to pick it up. That's right. Can I speak to Keisha? Let her know she needs to come to the radio station right now. Most likely his press ass gonna put her on the phone. That's when you cuss her ass off for letting them answer. I got hit from a dude once. Science, who's science? <laughs> you know what I realized? I don't like beards. Nah, that didn't happen. I was like, oh, Pastor, that's it, cool. Ill tempered and violent. Excuse me, my lord. Silence. Out of the 12, you know where I sit And this is the thanks that I get Do you not remember the titans? Do what I did to our dad? So I ain't scared of your lightning As a matter of fact, where's my triton? The god of the seas I am Poseidon The god of the seas I am Poseidon Porn for a short period of time. <laughs> I got fired on my on my day off. Yeah, I was filling in for another guy in, in, a, in, a, in a porno. We're like, yeah, what you doing, man? I'm gonna fill in for Jared and uh, angry moms go wild too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. I want you to bring sports attire, screen attire, something casual, and some business casual stuff. Spam. No logos. I pull up with my entire wardrobe. This, that, this, and that. Just for the motherfuckers. Something like you did telling me. Oh, we're going to have you come out naked. What I found to be, like, downright like, hilarious is how many married men has been trying to befriend me since Mr. Bring Her Back. <laughs> like, I don't think they understand how this works. Like, sometimes, I'll, I'll explain it. Sometimes I get approached by the, the couples, you know, the husband and the wife or whatever, you know. We, we, we hang out. I mean, this is where side dudes come from. Side dudes aren't majority, some random guy. Your woman's not out here. <laughs> some women are not out here just trying to pick their dudes to cheat with, okay? But in some instances, sometimes the husbands, you know, make the first move. And I'm, I don't know how to take it, you know, because you got you bringing me around your fine-ass wife. I don't know if you want me to be side with or you want me to be somebody that you think. I don't know what, like, why, I don't know. Maybe I'm insecure when it comes to being your friends. Um, but I will say this. There is a rule, fellas, before you introduce me to your fine ass wife. You know you got a fine ass wife. And your goal and your intention is not a threesome and possibly an affair that I'm going to have with her and she's going to get out of the divorce because we had a threesome. If it's not that, you, if you and her didn't meet and me and you didn't meet before you and her met, nigga, it's, it's fair game. Don't try to become my friend to learn the rules and learn the... No. It's fair game. I... Do what the fuck I'm asked to do. <laughs> that's it. The transition. With the studio closed, I had no source of income. My wife advised me that until I found a job, I should apply for welfare. So I did. I went and got food stamps. Standing in that line with my pride in my hand, I did what I had to do for my family. 
Even with the EBT, it wasn't enough. I needed to find a job fast. This is Audible. So I wonder if anybody else feels like they be getting singled out doing the work trainers when they start talking about the sexual harassment. <laughs> you know how they do it. All right, guys, next we're going to talk about the sexual harassment policy. You're like, damn, I ain't even do nothing yet. <laughs> that was the bad ass we're going to say, too. We're going to talk about our sexual harassment policy. We're going to ask out. <laughs> like, goddamn, I can't tell you trying to break the internet. Yeah, that's another guy. We're going Today, we will discuss the sexual harassment policy. They can be like, yeah, say less. <laughs> Hi, I'm Joe Biden, and we need to come together and be really nice to each other as we are saying these things that what I'm saying is that we're smoothly talking you guys into hell because God bless this country and peace be on earth the republicans are so mean let's come together thank you kingdom of everything what's up tripsters it's your boy mindful manny aka overtime sims newly known as trip van gogh and i'm here today to drop a mindful minute this mindful minute i won't be too long because this vest is tied way too tight and i could barely breathe so I'll jump straight into the content. Love yourself so much that when someone treats you wrong, you recognize it. What does that mean? You have to love yourself, pay attention to yourself, know who you are, so that when you get around other people and they start treating you all different types of ways and you start saying, I don't know if I don't feel right, but you know, maybe they're right because they feel like they got this in No. If you feel upset about it and that make you feel right, remove yourself. All I'm saying, y'all keep posting y'all fine-ass mothers and your daddy gonna have a real side dude infestation real fucking quick. This one time I was side doing for this girl from Chicago and shit, and she had a real gangsta ass dude. I mean, this nigga was so gangsta, his last name was Savage. And I didn't know what to do because I had to bring her to Plan B. Plan B. I pull over there and side do full effect. Hey, girlfriend! Shit, we fucked again after that. Waiting for your weed man to get off to work, be a bitch. <laughs> Don't it? <laughs> Boy Chronicles. How to recover from calling the girl after 12 a.m. Let me warn you, this is only going to work if you're on the East Coast. And uh, this is only going to work if I'm not wearing green. Now that's more like it. So the first thing that you must do is act like your ass is calling from a different time zone. What time is it there? Then you let her lead and tell you what time it is. And then you just finesse it from there. And this is the wrong time we're seeing too. Let's keep this going. So what do we learn? Pretend like you fucking lost. friend because we're not friends anymore okay says to me yo ot drip come on man slow the fuck down you're making it difficult for people to only be good at one thing i said whoa 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 click done let me tell you why we cannot be friends if you got a small mind not because i don't want to be friends with you it's because it makes it difficult for me to think as big as i do peace don't care about acceptance 